Hello, my name is Ben Sheen. I'm a managing editor here at Stratfor. And I'm joined today by science and technology analyst Rebecca Keller to talk about robotics and automation in agriculture. Now, Rebecca, most developed countries have been looking to expand automation in agriculture. What are the main drivers behind this? The drivers are really fairly simple. It's productivity and profitability. On the productivity side, we're expecting the global population to reach 9 billion by the year 2050. And in order to feed that population, we're going to have to increase agricultural productivity by roughly 25% before 2050. Now, automation can help do that, but automation isn't going to be adapted unless it's profitable. And the profitability of the, um, the adoption of automation and robotics depends very heavily on labor costs. So for developed countries like the United States, labor costs are often brought down by using lower skilled, often undocumented immigrant workers from Central America and from Mexico. And the trend is that we're seeing less immigration from Mexico and increased immigration from Central America and, and labor costs are actually going up. And that's also in part doing, due to Mexico's own demographics where their, um, their own agricultural labor costs in Mexico are shifting as their economy shifts. And that's in turn driving up labor costs in the United States. So Rebecca, bearing that in mind, what does automation look like at the moment and what is it likely to look like in the future? So there's already a significant amount of automation um, used in agriculture. Uh, tractors, for instance, are often controlled by, by GPS or, or have a significant GPS component. Conveyor belts are used, just simple automated stuff like that. But what we're looking at in the future is, is a lot more use of, of data and smart technology that we see incorporated in our everyday lives. The agricultural sector is not going to be immune to that. We're going to see um, the use of big data, the use of, of sensors on drones um, to collect as much data as possible to make agricultural production farming more efficient. We're looking to get as much data as we can about the soil quality, the soil moisture, farm animal, uh, livestock biometrics. And you, by using that data, we'll be able to do more precise farming and better use limited resources like water and fertilizer. So clearly all this will have to be managed very carefully, both the collection and distribution of the data itself and also the production of, of the actual equipment that will be used. What do you think are some of the possible constraints that could hold back the full development of automation? So the, the, the constraints um, for the drone part of automation and the use of drones in agriculture is going to, to be FAA regulations, where and who and how high and how often can you fly, fly the necessary drones. You're also going to see restrictions in just that the agricultural industry cannot develop the robotic technology themselves. The, the, the cost margin, the profit margin it just isn't large enough for the agricultural industry industry to invest in R&D. So you're going to see um, them relying on other industries to develop the necessary te technology, be it improved dexterity, uh, improved autonomy of the robots, that kind of thing. And do you think as the price point comes down for actual the drones themselves, we're going to see an increased proliferation, not only in the developed world, but also potentially in the developing world as well? Absolutely. As cost comes down, you're going to see greater and greater incorporation because the, the more efficiently you're able to manage the resources, the more food you can produce on less land and, and the, the better your yields are going to be. And that's, that's extremely important as we see the developing world's middle class increase and their consumption patterns change and the demand for food and feed um, increases with it. Well, it certainly looks like the trend is only set to proliferate and continue moving forward. Becca, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you, Ben. For more on this trend and other agricultural trends, please continue to read stratfor.com.